Hey everybody! Carby Susie, welcome. We're gonna do the 2015 Bowman Draft half case number 15. Rip City card style. So you can come this way. I will show people involved in this. Didn't get the uh, one five in there good, but the five's in there okay. Oh, 15 draft. You may or may not know, but probably know as many times as I have said it, I was in Tokyo the first time I opened this uh, sweet, sweet product. Was uh, asked, didn't even uh, didn't even want to. I was like, they, they say, hey, do you want to go to uh, Tokyo and do this? I'm like, not really. And they're like, oh, come on, come on, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So I said, all right, fine. So I went to Tokyo to uh, open the 2015 uh, Bowman Draft Asia edition. One of the funnest times in my entire life. I don't know if you've ever been by yourself in a foreign country, but it's uh, it's it's pretty entertaining trying to uh, like not to uh, not die and stuff on your lonesome. I can't tell you this with certainty. If you ever say, like, if you ever find yourself in Tokyo and see McDonald's, like, oh, I wonder if McDonald's is, like, the same here as it is at home. It's not. And it's not as good. So, uh, don't, don't waste your time. I can also tell you, though, if you go, like, in wintertime for whatever reason, like, it has to be cold, they have, uh, like, you know, like, it's not, it's not Coke machines, but, like, you know, for what, for, for, for what I'm trying to explain it as, as, like, Coke machines that, you, you know, you put money into and get drinks from, they have, like, choices to be like either hot, like there are some drinks that are cold and some drinks that are hot. You can basically get like a hot tea out of out of a vending machine. I guess that's probably the better word, a vending machine. If you want something hot, I mean it's all it's almost it's almost like magic, basically. If I did, if I didn't know how it worked, I would say that it was magic.
No, this is draft. 15, Raul, draft. Unless I, unless I have screwed up something uh, on a next level insane bit of business, this should be this is draft 15. Raul, were you were you supposed to have some team that I that I don't know about in this? Because I did not did not see you in the list. Or in, in the report, I should say. Okay. All right, Raul, you, you scared me there, man. You scared me. I was like, oh, damn. He sees this is his break. He doesn't see his name. I'm like, what What have I done? Okay. No, no. This is, this is draft 15. I want to open that draft 18 in the worst way. Because 18 draft was so good to us. So, so good to us. Just so good in general. So, I mean, like, I would, I mean, I would highly recommend getting teams in that. I mean, the cards are still selling for, like, really, really good dollars in that. <clears throat> so, e so, even some, like, lesser name autographs in draft are still going, you know, 50 to $80 base auto style. I looked. <clears throat> I did the math. Golden Boy 18 Chrome is good, too. And that's the only reason I continue to get it, even at its, at the, at its uh, accelerated price. 18 Chrome, 18 Draft, both spectacular products. Like, would recommend to a friend type products. Nineteen Prism, I would recommend a family, even, because there is potential for goodness in it. There's a lot of color. There's a lot of numbers, but uh, it can be uh, it can be a little tricky. You know, honestly, like when 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 I was in Tokyo, uh, opening the uh, 2018 or 2015 uh, Draft Asia Jumbo Edition, the desk that I have now is a uh, significantly larger than the desk that I had there. like a dream I still enjoy that place I spent I spent more I spent more of my money I think at 7-eleven in Tokyo than in any other place except for one foolish uh, foolish meal that I had at, at some place called like 
511, I think was the name of it. Like some Kobe beef joint or something. Oh my goodness. Talk about silly delicious. I love how the chat just disappears when packs start to open. It's almost it's, it's almost funny <clears throat> if you weren't the one looking at the chat. Like constantly. Uh, as a as a single random person in you know, in the chat, like you're not looking at it because you're you're clearly doing something else and you don't care. But for me, staring at it, it's like, oh, yeah. Ain't nobody got nothing to say. Ooh, we got a uh, cut card. A uh, card cut katana. As I like to call them, I'll hang on to that for a little bit. Alright, let's move these over. Make some space for the rest of them. Expect your basketball out tomorrow. Who is juice about that? I mean, that seems like one that everybody is just waiting. Just waiting to get involved in. Like, I know I am super excited about it. Brandon, it's I as bad as Spectra sells on the secondary market. I love it. I love the looks of it. It's you know, it's got shiny, pretty cards with low numbered action. Like, I mean, usually, like, per you know, even per case, if not even per box. I I'm an unabashed Spectra lover. And expect to see some very lovely things out of it. We got two of our cases in today. If I did not have all of them in the store already, I'd open one just to see what was in it. Oh, so sad. We gotta wait until tomorrow to open it. So, so sad.
I get that fixed up here in a second. Unless that's giving giving anybody uh, like seasickness for it being uh, off angle. All right, my goodness, that was fast. Half case opening of the uh, 2015 Bowman Draft Hobby Baseball product. Sweet mother of mercy. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, the all-time favorite, uh, Connor Biggio and Paper to start it off with. Got some chromes. We got some papers. We got some chromes of Biggio in the uh, aqua action. The uh, Spencer Adams Refractor. Refractor's unnumbered in this one. We've got an orange Chris Ellis. Shocking uh, orange to 21 out of 25 for the Angel. Shocking just because you don't uh, see a whole lot of oranges out of this. A uh, Bradley Zimmer Refractor. Bell Refractor, Pirates, and an autograph for Nathan Kirby of the Brew Crew. Swanson Upcoming, Cole Stewart Refractor. A uh, Albert Almora refractor. A Daniel Robinson refractor. Got a Hermlin in the uh, sky blue variation of uh, colors. Mm, a Grant Holmes refractor, I think. Okay. It's one box. Let's move this over. Let's move this over. Okay. Do we get the Dansby now or later? I'm thinking later. Steve, how's it going? A blue Hermlin to uh, 150 for the Astros. A Calhoun in the uh, sky blueishness of sky blue. The Zach Zetch Lemon refractor. Jake Cronworth Refractor. Steve, um, what is it? Uh, there's N nothing older, only newer stuff. 
a uh, Jake Wincoop refractor. I'm trying to think like what the new one, Luminance. Luminance, I think, is the next new one out. A Mundell refractor. Blue paper for uh, Cronworth to uh, 150. A Benintendi uh, Sky Blue. A Kaye Hai Tom Fractor. Yeah, there's just, I don't know. All, all the old stuff is just so expensive. Helsley Refractor that I would either have to like price teams that aren't worth it well above what they're worth or put the Browns at like 700 bucks and just uh... listen Steve I count the days down to uh... to uh... Bay to football season so you're not alone my friend you're not alone I'm, I'm Raul Mondesi refractor Autograph for Kyle Holder of the Yankees. A uh, Jordy Alara refractor. I mean, Bowman, I could open like every day, all day, like no, well, you know, n like no issues. Other baseballs, I need, you know, some separation from football. I mean, I could, I could do constantly too. David Fletcher, I just, you know, ooh, green, Is it autograph, autograph, no, but a uh, Braden Bishop. Green Refractor, 19 out of uh, 99 for the Mariners. Carl Wise of the uh, Sky Blue Variety. A Greg Pickett Refractor. Duchesne, I'm gonna call. I'm gonna say it's refractor. I can't. It's almost shiny enough, maybe to be. I can't really tell. Got the uh, Jacome refractor. A Josh Naylor autograph of the Marlins. Nice card. Well, I believe he's going by Bo Naylor now. Maybe. Nice, nice auto. Well, no, I mean, listen, Steve, it's a, it's a good card to chase. It is an excellent card to chase. That's, like, part of the problem. I mean, that team just keeps getting more stacked and more stacked and more stacked. Hey, Joe McCarthy, uh, Refractor. I mean, barring injury, they are going to be a force. Hey, Sean Newcomb, Refractor. A green Nick Gordon in 99. Paper style. I'm breaking Williams in the uh, sky blue variant. Uh, Brandon Wodell. Uh, refractor for the Pirates. No, I mean, and really, I mean, honestly, anymore, like, the only cards that hold, like, 
you know, like super decent value in football is QBs. I mean, it used to be like wide receivers and running backs, like would kind, you know, would hold some money, or you know, like you command some money. But I mean, really at this point, it almost seems like you know QBs are the only ones that are like like really holding and commanding dollars. A uh, Kyle Zimmer refractor. A Nick Plummer green refractor autograph for the Cardinals. No, I mean, see that? I mean, see, now you got like, do you know, to me, like, well, I mean, listen, offseason is always a little bit hard, like harder to sell football. A uh, Tyler Danish refractor. I'm like you're gonna have, you're gonna have better better dollar success like during season. The Dansby Swanson in uh, in sky blue. But I mean I don't know. Maybe decide like do you want to like cull it down, keep what you want to keep, and uh, cash out on the rest of it. Tyler Bead refractor. Or just hang on to it until he uh, until he makes the haul. A Reese McGuire refractor. A uh, Gillespie refractor. A uh, Leba refractor to uh, four ninety nine a Crone worth oh uh, Steve you know that to me like makes it a little bit more exciting like that a Lilica uh, in blue. Like that makes it much more exciting to me. And Nick Howard refractor. But just like one day, like I'm gonna I'm gonna see him win like his uh, third Super Bowl, you know, in a row or something, like just out of nowhere. Cleveland just all of a sudden crushing stuff. And Corey Taylor uh, refractor. And I'm gonna remember at that you know, at that time when he when he hoists up that uh, that trophy, I'm gonna say Steve is sitting on a metric turd ton of dollars in uh, in his rookie cards, and it will make me smile. That's uh, you know that, that's it. Courtney Hawkins refractor. Yeah. Hey, Tyler Alexander in blue. Sean Reed Foley refractor. Hey, Cornelius Randolph in purple to 250. Well, I mean, the only problem that you're going to have, yeah, he's sick, Kid AC. You know, he's got, you know, a fever and uh, butt spurts and stuff like that. Hey, Jordan Ramsey, refractor. The only problem you're going to have, Steve, is, is going through the Buccaneers. 
which I'm almost concerned. A Tanner Rainey base. Not a red. Well, I mean, I still got another box for the red. But a Tanner Rainey base. Is that your uh, your Browns may turn into, like, the Bills of the 90s. Did you just, a uh, uh, Supac uh, refractor, get beat by the Buccaneers, like, year after year after year. Uh, Hillman in blue. You know, trying to win that championship, but we just keep, like, you know, piling them on kind of a deal. Blake Snell refractor. That's my only concern for you right now. I, mean, I don't want, I don't necessarily want to see that happen for you, but there's a very good chance that you do because the Bucks are basically going to be like the new juggernauts of the league. A Margot Refractor. Exactly how, exactly how, as how I have predicted it for the last 10 years. A Roman Quinn Refractor. This is the Bucks decade. A Nelson Rodriguez to uh, 4.99. No, I mean that it's it's going to help him. Bruce Arians has has helped him like work, you know, get his feet right with the crab legs in his pockets. That's the difference. You know, Cutter, you know, wanted to pretend that the crab legs weren't there. Arians knows crabs uh, crab legs there, They're, and he's going to use them to be able to shift his weight one way or the other. That's that's where it's at. It says Pookie Refractor. Okay, see how you doing? No, Winston is not the problem, man. Defense is the problem. Defense has always been the problem. It could be a lard in uh, in blue. If I'm if I'm being like legit, like no joke, honest about it. Like if you force him to throw. 45 times in a game because we're always down by double digits. Yeah, he's going to throw a lot of interceptions. Everybody in that situation is going to throw a lot of interceptions. A Matt Hall refractor. If you get a defense that can actually like allow him to like just like manage a game and throw to Mike Evans, like who is the best wide receiver in all football, and even then Godwin who is like Probably at this point the third best slot receiver in all of football. A Rusconi refractor, then they'll be okay. It's is playing from behind twelve out of sixteen games that uh, creates that turnover, you know, disaster of a situation. Now it's Reyes refractor. A uh, Hunter Renfro to four ninety nine. Winston okay. Arian or well Arians and that uh, the that Jets dude fixing defense. A Derby refractor. A Carson Fulmer, first Bowman autograph for the White Sox. Yeah, but I, Cleveland doesn't want to take doesn't want to take McCoy's contract is the problem, and like honestly, like I don't eat. Gerald McCoy has been like the best human being for Tampa Bay that I could have ever even imagined. So if he wanted to leave and wanted to go even to Cleveland because Cleveland's got a legit chance at like at, at you know at some at some trophy kind of business. I would not be mad at it. I wouldn't. Well, Mike, we go through all of this stuff after the fact, but I will. I will check it again. But like, I don't. All of it goes to sorting, packing, and shipping, and then they all go through all of it again. But I will. I will run through it myself for you. But it, it all gets gone through at, at least twice. 
A uh, Brad Adam Walker uh, refractor. A De Leon uh, refractor. Yeah, I would not be mad about McCoy going to going to Cleveland just for him doing something. Now, I mean, granted, he is getting a little bit older. He's got a lot of money on his contract. So, I mean, there would be, like, restructuring and, and some, of, uh, some of that kind of business. A Herger refractor. And then that is where we sit. Well, Mike, thank you for the shit. I do appreciate it. A Carson Fulmer uh, autograph for the White Sox. First Bowman, nice card. Rainy. Uh, Reds, nice card. And Nick Plummer, green. Nice card. And Dosh Dosh Naylor, Marlins, nice card. A Kyle Holder, Yankees, it's a card. And a Kirby Refractor for the Brewers. Nice card. Thank you, everybody. We'll get this right out to...